Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Before I get started, I want to give an honor, praises, and glory to our beautiful power, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakak Kadash, Rakak Kadash. Okay, um, double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that taught me this beautiful truth. Okay, honor to you, uh, you know, you brothers out there laboring in truth and sincerity. Uh, likewise, with the speckled brethren too, you know, you may look like the other nations <clears throat> face value, but indeed your spirit goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay, which makes you indeed an Israelite. This is not a color thing. This is a spiritual thing. Okay, that's why the scripture says, try the spirit by the spirit. Okay. And also, you know, Shalom, you know, um, to sincere, you know, few sincere aqua, you know, sister, you know, that's put in the effort to please you. How, why y'all shy to the best of their abilities. And obeying her husband if they have a husband. Okay. Shalom. <clears throat> and also with that being said, you know, before I get started, you know, Lord willing, you know, uh, Yah Bashman Al Shai, bless me with um <clears throat> edifying words, you know, to edify the flock. Okay. And uh, you know, before I get started, also <laughs> again, Salakia, um, you know, I wanna I wanna give credit where it's due. You know, this lesson is uh first and foremost in, uh, inspired by Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, okay, Yahweh Yahweh Shai, of course. Okay, ultimately Yahweh Shai. Okay, because we gotta get to Yahweh, Abba Yahweh through Yahweh Shai. Okay, but anyways, though, you know, I want to give credit where it's due. You know, you know, um, you know that brother that been coming to my camp. You know, sent me a a, a lesson. You know, uh, from that beloved brother, um, Amawan Gabar. Okay, I believe he's an up and coming el elder, or he is an elder. You know, Salakia, forgive me. Okay, but um. You know, uh, you know, just give him credit where it's due. You know, that brother, you know, that came out my camp, sent me this lesson when I was at my job. I watched the lesson, you know, and, and, and you know, the lesson instantly inspired me to do this lesson that I'm about to do right now. Okay. You know, basically, um, he was going into the, uh, you know, Trump, the, uh, the Trump lever truckers. Okay. And got into the little article, you know, and, and go, it was going into the, uh, you know, the truckers going on a boycott, you know, going on a strike basically, uh, today, you know, Lord willing, you know. But anyways, even if it's true or not, even if they do it or not, um, it's beautiful because at the end of the day, the energy is out there. OK, and like I, and like I said right now, whether it's true or not, whether it happens or not, whether it happens or not, um, one day it will happen. OK, like that brother said, you know, the truckers are the bloodline to this society, to America, man. OK, but I'm not going to speak too much. You know, Lord willing, the Lord, we know will bless me with edifying words. Okay, and I'm just gonna just I'm just I'm just I'm just gonna just I'm just gonna slack it. I'm just gonna jump straight into it. Okay, you know, with a few thoughts and a few scriptures that the Lord blessed me when I was watching that lesson. Okay, so let's get straight into it. You know, my first lesson, slack it. My my first scripture, I believe is Habakkuk that I had on my list. You know, <clears throat> so I'm just gonna go read the scripture that came to my mind. <clears throat> Excuse me, when I uh you know. Basically, the Lord, you know, uh, bless me with scriptures, you know, when I pray to him to uh, give me scriptures for this lesson. OK, so I'm just going to go with these scriptures. And if the Lord bless me with precepts, you know, uh, you know, I hit him, you know. So let's get straight into it. So I'm going to get Habakkuk 2, you know, in verse 1, you know, I'm talking brother that I build it to my point, you know, so brothers just bear with me, you know. So with that being said, let's get started. Let's get it. You know, Habakkuk 2 and verse 1, I will stand upon my watch and set upon the tower. And will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. OK. Um, verse two. And the Lord, Yahweh, answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon table, make it plain upon tables that he may run that read it. OK. Ultimately, um, you know, the scriptures, man, we're making it very plain what's going to come to Babylon the great through the scriptures, through the spirit power of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. OK. Through the Holy Spirit. Okay, the Rakaka, the uh, the Rakaka, the, um, the Rakaka Dash. Okay, <laughs> you know, we let you know it's gonna be martial law. Okay, um, like I said, even if the trucks don't get stopped, uh, um, from going to New York, and I will put the article in a link in the description if I remember, Lord willing. Okay, um, because it's beautiful. You know, it really made me want to do this lesson too. Of course, I said it inspired me through the spirit of Yahweh Yahweh Shai, and you know, the brother sent me the video. You know, I'm a Gabar doing the le lesson. That's what inspired me, but uh, what really, um, not what really, but what made me like, oh shoot, okay, I'm gonna really get into it. Um, <laughs> that he spoke about it, um, right after I kind of, you know, spoke about it during camp, you know, because it was very fresh when I went to camp uh, Sunday, okay, and I just spoke about it a little bit. All right, so um, so basically, um, I'm just gonna tie it in 
with prophecy, man. No, like I said, whether it's true or not, whether it happens or not, okay? At the end of the day, the energy is there and it's going to happen one day regardless, okay? So, um, yeah, we're making it very plain upon tables, man. Um, And the ones that don't take heed, you know, when that really happens, you know, what I'm speaking on is the, uh, you know, truckers, you know, uh, not bringing in um, product, okay, which is going to happen one day, okay? Um, Lord willing, it happen, you know, ASAP. The sooner the better, okay? But when it happens, the only one that's going to be cool, calm, and collected is the ones that was, you know, sincerely watching, okay? Before hell get uh, 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 broke loose, man, okay? Because the Lord is looking for the ones, you know, that's in that broken and contrite spirit and sorrowful for their wicked ways, first and foremost, Okay, because that ha that spirit right there is gonna have you, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Salakia, have you have you in the right um mindset, man. Okay, you're gonna be uh, building up your um spirit, okay, in your relationship with Yahweh Shai before them troubles and perilous times come. Okay, um, so I'm gonna continue. You know, verse three: for the vision is yet for a point in time, but at the end it shall speak. Ooh, yeah, you know, and it's speaking now, man. Okay, and uh, a a sincere brethren, like I said, we see it, man. That's why we go so hard for you. How about Shemal Shai? Because we see troubling times are here, you know, to be real. You know, World War Three is already here. It's just not going so. Um, um, it's just not is um, um, it's not full fledged. You no know, better for lack of words. All right. You know, because ultimately, you know what I mean by that? Um, rumors of wars. OK. And, um, you know, we all understand, you know, the sincere brethren, you know, that's been that, that that's under you know um, the apostles you know and their teachings. We understand that the MOTB gotta be gotta be mandatory first, mandate mandated mandated first. Okay, you know. But uh, I'm gonna continue. It's like it. Habakkuk, Habakkuk two and verse three. The, for the vision is yet for a point in time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. But though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Yeah, like I said, even if that's true, even if them truckers really go on boycott for Trump. Are not okay, Lord willing, they do the sooner the better, like I said. Okay, but if they don't go, um, do that Monday, today, um, or whatever, you know, it's gonna happen one day, okay, and it's gonna, it's gonna, this, this year's gonna end with a bang, okay, hope, um, uh, Lord willing, okay, should hopefully after the Passover, you know, something major happened like it happened last, um, during the, um, uh, you know, the uh, the jump shot, man, okay. Because trucker was going on strike um, during that time, too. So it's happening all over again, man. You know, and we understand that the time will get worse and worse. OK, so the point is, at verse three, you know, it might tarry. OK, but hey, the words in the, in, in, in the, the words of the Lord. OK, um, um, won't come back void, man. OK, basically what I mean is what's ever on whatever is on the Bible and the scriptures prophecy is going to come to pass. Whether you hear or forbear to you rebellious so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Okay? That's why the Lord is going to have a very cold spirit on the elect, okay, in that day. Because we understand you should have used your liberty, okay? That's why the scriptures say don't use your liberty to the occasion of the flesh. You're supposed to use this grace period, okay, to upgrade in the spirit, man. Okay? That's why us brethren, us sincere brethren, we walk on our eggshells, man. And we ain't playing around with this truth, man. Okay? We're using our time very wisely. Using our time to read, study, watch videos, and upgrade in the spirit, man. Okay? So with that being said, I'm going to continue. Verse 4. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Yeah, man. That's talking about Esau Edom. This nigga is a wicked. He's, he's, he's the wicked. He's the border of wickedness, man. Okay? And he hates you, Jacob. He hates you, Jakes. He hates you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Okay? And the only ones that's not going to get touched. Okay? And yes... We understand the martyrs, but technically, A, the elect, okay, we're golden. Lord will not be part of that number, okay? And I say we're golden because, you know, I always say it when I speak about the martyrs. It's a win-win because they're going to be risen up with how high first anyways, okay? So, yes, we cannot be touched. Even if certain brothers' lots got to be beheaded, man, okay? And what I mean by being touched, you know, not being destroyed, man, okay? Because two-thirds are going to be destroyed, all right? You know? So, hey, brothers that you know that's in the faith, understand what I mean by that, okay? What's understood don't got to be explained, <laughs> okay? So, um, I'm going to just end, not end it, but I'm going to just stop at verse 4, okay? Just hit these points that came in my mind, like I said, when I did this lesson. When I was watching the lesson, Salakia, when I was at <clears throat> the plantation, 
you know, my stomach was burning up. My stomach was burning up at camp too. And I feel like I think it's burning up because I'm itching to do these lessons, man. You know, and it's, and we're in very exciting times, very exciting times, man. Cause, um, um, Matthew 11 and seven, wait a minute. What is, let me see. Yeah. 17. I'm like, yeah, it's not seven. But anyways, though, we're in very, very exciting times, man, because the destruction of the destruction of Babylon, hey, truckers um, not bringing in, um, you know, uh, products. OK, because the truckers, like their brother said, you know, um, they are the bloodline of America, man. OK, you know, like the brother said, Amazon, all the stuff you get online, they come through the truckers. OK, the gas come through truckers, man. OK, so once that stops, you know, you unbelievers, the ones that didn't use their time right. Um, <laughs> you're going to be running around like a chicken with your head cut off, man. And we're going to be laughing at you. Ultimately, the Lord is going to be laughing at you through us, man. Because you should have got right when you had time. <laughs> now, you're going through hell, okay? While the elect, okay, the hopeful elect, had the spirit of Moses, like I love to say all the time, and suffer with, um, you know, suffer for Yahweh Shema Shai, you know, instead of, uh, 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 um, Join uh, wickedness for a season, we're paraphrasing like that scripture say, okay, it's speaking about Moses, you know, Moses had an opportunity, you know, to, to, a choice to either, uh, you know, enjoy wickedness for a season or suffer with his people. And he made the right decision by suffering with his people, because with that, you're going to get a great reward. You know, that's you making your body labor sacrifice, you know, like Romans 12 says, which you must do. Okay, because a hey, discipline, okay, discipline is very indeed needed in this truth. Because that's you making your body labor sacrifice. Your flesh be like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to work out today. I don't want to read. I don't want to do this or that. But you flip it with the spirit. Okay? You be like, hell no. Nah, because I understand this is going to help me. Okay? You know, that's why we got to put on the 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 the, um, the, the, um, the immortal. Okay? And take off the mortal, man. Because ultimately that means you take off the, your old man. Okay? And put it on your shy, man. No matter if the old man trying to creep up on you. You know, you. that's why the scriptures say... um. You resist, um, resist, um, resist the devil and he shall flee from you, man. Okay. Basically, when you resist, resist, resist the devil, you, um, rebuke them thoughts, you know, you, uh, uh you, and you deny yourself, like the scriptures say, man. Okay. And, and make the correct move because, um, you know, it's good for you and that's pleasing the Lord, man. Okay. But anyways, though, I'm gonna continue. Matthew 11, um, I'm a, uh, 17 is the point. I'm gonna just... Read 17. Matthew 11, verse 17, and it reads, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> excuse me. Matthew 11, verse <clears throat> Matthew 11, verse 17. And it's in and it reads, and saying, this is Yahweh Shai speaking, by the way. And saying, we have piped unto you, and you have not danced. Yeah, man. Us brethren, we dancing 24-7. Literally, 24-7. We dancing even on our sleep. OK. And what I mean by that, we're mourning, you know, and being in a mourning type of um, being in the morning spirit is a right spirit in the spirit that the Lord wants you to be in. OK. That's why the scriptures say um, it's better to be in the house of mourning than the house of mirth, you know, and, and rough paraphrase and change the countenance. OK. And the reason why I change the countenance is, is because um, basically um, it, it, it keeps you in the right mindset, man. OK. You being in the house of mourning, you're um, you're um. You understand what time you're in, man. It's not time of fun, um, of uh, partying and bullshitting. Okay, this is time of war. Okay, this is time of hate. All right, you know the only love, honestly, and realistically, is the brotherhood. Other than that, everything else is irrelevant. Everything else is a distraction, and everything else is um, you know, is um, displeasing to you. How about you, Shai? And what I mean by that. Putting your time in anything else besides this truth is a waste of time. Okay? Yes, it's a balance. Okay? Um, you could there's nothing wrong with chilling here and there or whatever, but the majority of your time has to go to the spirit. Okay, because love is an action. Okay, it's that simple. And that goes for everybody. That goes for all of us. That goes for myself. Okay. You gotta show your love to your high bash mouth shy through your actions. Okay. Right here doing your, doing lessons is an action of love. Studying, reading, staying in the spirit is an action of love. Okay. Matthew 11, verse 17, and saying, We have piped unto you. You have not danced. Yes. Us out there doing these lessons, us out there um, going to the highways and byways, us out there catching our hell and bearing our hell. Okay. For the elect's sake. Okay. 
um, for for Yahweh Shai's sake. Okay, I'm gonna say for uh, Yahweh Shai favoritism. I'm gonna say it like that. Okay, and for our our household sakes and for our soul's sake, man. Okay, you know we pipe it unto you, man. We let you know you better get right. Okay, and we let you know, yes, when you be when you come to this truth, I'm gonna just be real. When you come to this truth, you're gonna go through hell. You gotta go through the straight gate. But the straight gate is the right way to go because going through the straight gate, um, that's the other act. I ain't gonna say that's the other action. That's an action of showing the Lord you love Him. You're willing to go through hardship for Him. Okay, and ultimately, <laughs> the scriptures say, um, <laughs> you know, uh, suffer basically rough paraphrase. I can't remember how it goes basically, but basically suffering for uh, you know, wickedness sake. You know, then it says suffering for righteousness sake. So me saying that, um, Jake, you're gonna suffer anyways. You know, you, you might as well suffer for Yahweh Shemal Shai sake, man. Okay, but we understand that, um, you know, everybody got their uh, appointed lot, man. But we must and have to, you know, sing this song to you people, whether you like this song or not. Okay? You know, that's why it's, the scriptures say, don't let the incredulity of these people, um, you know, basically unbelief uh, move you, man. Because, hey, if you don't want to pipe to the dance, I mean, not pipe to the dance. You don't want to pipe to the song. You don't want to dance to the song, then, hey, um, you fucking up, man. Okay, you messing up, all right. You waste of time. You're gonna mess up the rhythm anyways, cause <laughs> the, the whole elect, we you know we in rhythm, you know. <laughs> but anyways, though, we have mourning to you. And you have not limited. Okay, we're mourning to you. We let you know, you know, get right, man. You no, know, uh, um, get out this merch spirit, man. Okay, you know. And if you don't get out this merch spirit, um, it's gonna be all bad for you, man. Okay. And we did our part, but let me get my next script. I don't want to just speak too much. You no, know, the point is made on that. It's very uh, self-explanatory. I already explained that already. Uh, I think I, what, what is it? Ezekiel, I believe, right? Let me see. Ezekiel 3. Ezekiel 3, Ezekiel 3, Ezekiel 3, verse 18. I get, I'll start at verse 17. This is Ezekiel 3, verse 17, and it reads, Son of a man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Yeah, the Lord, um, you know, um, I'm going to just keep it simple as this. Like the scriptures say, um, prophets according to his will. I mean, um, he made prophets according to, um, let me actually get it real quick. I'm not going to butcher it. Butcher it. Prophets according to my eyes. I don't know why I said pops. What the hell? It's like it. Prophets according to my eyes. No, I'm butchering the hell out that scripture. That's a good one, but man, brothers know what I'm talking about, but how does it go, man? Prophets according to my eyes. I don't think I'm saying it right. Damn. Yeah, heart, heart, heart. Yep, yep, yep. Just hit this point real quick to back me up. Um, This looks a little weird. What the hell? What was it, Jeremiah 3 and 13? Is it 13 and 3? I'm on tripping, man. It's like it. Bear with me, brothers. I need to get this come. Not, um, not quoting that scripture right here. I know what I'm talking about, though. Bear with me, brothers, please. No, bear with me, brethren. But 13 and 3, 13 and 3, 13 and 3, 13 and 3. Man, what the hell, man? Lock it, brothers. 13 and 15, I'm tripping. Man, what the hell? Oh, my goodness. Hey, Slocky, brothers. Man, Slocky. What the heck is going on right now? I will give you pastors according to my my heart. Okay, slack it. I will give you pastors according to my heart. I said pastors. It said pastors. That's crazy. Slack it. 
Slock is, brother. Slock is. That's weird. Cause I, okay, let's get it though. Why do you about smash? I Jeremiah three and verse fifteen. I will give you pastors according to my heart, going into mine. Okay, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Okay, I just wanted to get that real quick. Back up on point. Okay, you know, I read Ezekiel three and seventeen. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Okay, therefore hear the words at my mouth. Yeah, cause the reason I wanted to get that precept, you know, Slakia, it's kind of difficult. <laughs> but anyways, though, um. Um, it doesn't matter how the prophets look, okay? Because Jake be like looking at us like, you look just like me. Man, why I got to listen to you? Okay, or whatever, however Jake be. You know, it doesn't matter the outward man. It's all about the inward man, man. Okay, we giving you the warning of Yahweh Shemal Shai. Ultimately, Yahweh Shai is giving you the warning through us. We're just vessels, okay? So I just want to hit that point real quick, Salakia, okay? Because the scriptures speak better than um than me, okay? So... Ezekiel 3 and verse 17, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. Yes, we're giving you warning. Okay, y'all shy, like I said, giving you warning through us. Okay, through, uh, yeah, through us, man. Okay, um, simple as that. Verse 18, when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning. Okay, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. Yeah, and you can't say we're not giving you a warning, okay? We are definitely indeed giving you the warning. The sincere believers, okay, the prophets, okay, are giving you that warning. We're letting you know, you better get your spirit right, like I always say. If you don't get your spirit right, you, your family, is going to have a very, very, very harsh um, time in Jacob's trouble, man, okay? Ultimately, you have, you're not going to have no protection, Okay, you're not gonna have that Isaiah 33 and 6 in your mind. Wisdom and knowledge shall be thy stability at a time. Okay, you have to build up to this st st stability, is the best way I can say it, man. What I mean by that, um, just like working out, you're not gonna work out one day and just be buff as hell, strong as hell. You have to consistently work out. You know, you could work out maybe a week or two, that's cool, but if you really want to be strong and get strength, you have to be consistent. Okay. So just like this truth, you have to be consistent, okay? Because if you're consistent, ultimately, through my faith, I believe, this is what I believe, you being consistent, you should, you're never going to fail. You're never going to fail because you being consistent in his word, that's you showing your love, okay? But anyways, though, I'm going to continue. Um, I left off, it says, the same wicked man shall die in his, in, his, in, in, in his iniquity, in verse 18, okay? But his blood will I require at thy hand. Verse 19, yet if thou warn the wicked and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. Yeah, if you don't want to listen, um, we did our part, we did our job, man, and the Lord is going to be pleased with us, okay? Because after you heard this word through us, Lord willing, we don't know them, man, um, it was up to you then, it was up to you to take heed, okay? We're letting you know, um, um. Um, World War Three is going. World War Three is around the corner. Okay, the M O T B is the M A R K C hit. Okay, and if you take that, you're gonna perish. All right. Um. Yeah, man. Yeah. Simple as that. And you know, if you don't take heed to them words, the Lord is ultimately gonna give you over to uh, Satan, man. Okay. So the point is made on that. Luke twelve and thirty nine. You know. Lord willing, the deals that are fine. Lord willing, 12, 39, 12, 39. Hit these points, man. Yeah, Luke 12, 39, right? I'm going to read verse 28. Nah, I'll read 29. I'll read 29. Stick to the point. Luke 12 and verse 29. And seek not ye what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, and neither be ye of double-minded. Okay? Um... I'll be honest, I didn't, I don't think, I I, I put, I must have typed in the wrong scripture. Damn. Because it's not what I wanted. Oh, I'm tripping. That's, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 39. I'm tripping. I'm sorry. Luke 12 and verse 39. Okay. And it reads, um, Luke 12 and verse 39. And it reads, and this know, and this is Yahweh Shai once again. Luke 12 and verse 39. And this know that if the good man of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not have suffered his house to be broken through. Yeah, <laughs> if you knew better, you would do better, man. Okay, and us brethren, we know better. That's why we're continuing, continuing 
to grow in the spirit, continuing, like I always say, to to um, work on our character, to be the best you know, version of ourselves, because that's part of works too, okay? That's what this truth teaches you, going back to what I said earlier, discipline, okay? Your flesh telling you, nah, I don't work out today. And you're like, fuck that, I'm going to work out. Because honestly, what I tell myself, the days you don't want to work out are the, more support, the most important days you should work out, man, okay? Your flesh telling you, um, you know, you, you, you want to do a lesson, but your flesh like, nah, I'll I get to it the next day. Nah, you're supposed to hear the iron words, um, what the elders be saying, the brother be saying, hit the iron where it's, um, I forgot how, how the brother be saying it, but, but, but when it's on, when, um, when you get that spark, man, okay, you, you gotta, you know, you gotta get on it, man, okay, um, and my point is, man, if you knew better, you would do better, basically, that's saying right there, man, okay, and what would you do, get your spirit right, build a relationship with y'all shy, okay, because, uh, you understand in that day, um, you understand is the benefit, okay, from that, man, okay, you understand, you know, it's not, this is not a waste of time, okay? And I'm going to just keep it simple, okay? Um, this right here, doing your lessons and your shows and your studying, your character, doing shit, whatever you're doing behind closed doors, all that right there, the Lord sees, man, okay? So really, it's best for you to better, um, um, when you hear this word, um, you better, um, you better get on your, um, you know, get on your shit, okay? And that goes for all of us. And when you get on your shit, and what I mean by that, you really working on your spirit. You gotta continue, continue to work on your on your spirit. Okay, the more you in the word, the more you, the more you in this. Yeah, the more you in this truth, the the uh, the more the Lord is gonna um protect you. Really, it's a fair trade. Okay, the more you show the Lord you, you love Him, hey, the more the Lord is gonna upgrade you. Okay, um, which is gonna benefit you in Jacob's trouble because um in Jacob's trouble we definitely gotta we ha we have to be strong in the spirit because Jacob's trouble is not gonna be easy. You're not gonna just slide in His kingdom. Okay, you know, none of us are going to slide in the kingdom, man. Okay, the only way you're going to be stable and confident, okay, because confident goes into faith, you know, that the Lord going to protect us. If we know back of our head, we really tried our best, okay? And we letting you, Jake, know you better hurry up and, you know, get with the Lord on the right hand. You better get on the right side of the Lord, okay? Because if you're on the left side of the Lord in that day, it, it, you're not going to escape judgment. You're going to get it, man, okay? And it will be on you at the end of the day because, um, a pro you will know a prophet had been among you, which I got. So I'm going to continue. Luke 12 and verse 40. Be ye therefore ready also for the Son of Man coming at an hour when ye think not. Okay? You know, that's why the scriptures say, will I find faith on the earth? Okay? And yes, he will find faith on the earth. And that's the elect. Okay? And we hope that we are a part of that number. Okay? That's why we call ourselves the hopeful elect. Okay? The hopeful elect, Ephesians 6, put it on as the elect, goes into, we're not going to get comfortable. There's no such thing as a comfortability. Okay, and I was thinking about this today um, when I was at, jo at my job, just brainstorming this shit, you know, you know, just trying to remain in the spirit. Um, um, okay, say, you don't mess with me now. Don't let me, don't make me lose it. Cause I was thinking about it all day. Um, damn. Um, mm, that's crazy. Let me read uh, verse 40 again. Luke 12 and verse 40. Be ye therefore ready also for the Son of Man come at an hour when you think not. Okay, um, damn, I lost it that quick. I had a very beautiful point. Okay, Lord willing to come back to me. Okay, um, damn, I lost it that quick. That's crazy. Slack you. You know, I'm just going to continue. You know, I'm not going to, you know, you know, beat myself up for it on that. So, you know, um, oh, yeah, we find faith on the earth. And the answer is yes, man. Okay, the answer is yes. The Lord is going to find faith on the earth. It's going to be well pleased by that. Okay, and I still can't think of the exact same point. That I uh, had, you know, Lord willing, it comes back to me. If it don't come back to me, you know, if it does come back to me uh, after I do the lesson, I'll just write it down. You know, Lord willing, I spound on that and it could maybe be in for another lesson. OK, but I'm going to continue. OK, I'm going to continue. Um, damn, I wish I, I hate I hate that. I hate that that happens. I hate that. that happens. So let's just continue. You know, I'm not going to dwell on it too much. As long as the video is edifying, <clears throat> at the end of the day, that's all that matters. Um, let me see where I'm at. Ecolaskis, sorry, rack three. I believe I said no, Isaiah, Ecolaskis 27, verse three. Ecolaskis 27, also not in sorry, rack in verse three. And it reads, Unless a man hold himself diligently in the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Shai. Okay, um, um, it's a scripture that goes exactly, um. 
Mm, let's go. Let me let me see. Damn. Mm. Mm. I can't think how it goes right now. It's all good. You know how it be when you're doing lessons. So Ecclesiastes Sirach 27 verse 3, unless a man hold himself diligently, and any brother that know what scripture, you know, I'm trying to think of, you know, it, it sparks on you, you know, put it on a comment board for me, Baba Kasha, please. Um, Ecclesiastes 27 verse 3, unless a man hold himself diligently in the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, and what does the scripture say? Um, wisdom and knowledge is the, um, no, the fear of the Lord is the beginning um, of knowledge, man. Okay, because you fearing the Lord, that's you being wise, man, because you fearing the Lord, you're going to do the right thing. You fearing the Lord, you ultimately is respecting the Lord, man. Okay, which is a wise thing, man. Okay, you understand that the Lord is not knowing to play with, and you're going to walk on eggshells, man. All right, you know, I'm going to continue. Ecclesiastes, also 9, sorry, right, 27, verse 3. Okay, um, unless a man hold himself diligently in the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, his house shall soon be overthrown. But it says, unless a man hold himself diligently. Okay, you have to be dil diligent, you know, with your relationship ultimately with Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, because that's the key thing. You being diligent, you know, and, and building up your a beautiful relationship with Yahweh Shai, that's you ultimately <laughs> equals to works. Okay, because faith without works is dead. Okay, so if you're diligently building up a great relationship with the Lord, of course, you're going to be doing works too, because that's what the Lord ultimately wants. The Lord don't care about no fucking lip service. Okay, how much more the Lord if people in this world don't it's like, man, you, you keep saying this, you keep saying that. That don't mean nothing. Show me what your actions. You know how it goes. You know, you keep telling a woman you love her or a woman keep telling you she love you. Okay, but with her actions, it doesn't show. Okay, how much more with the Lord? Okay, I love you, I love you. Like people be like, I love you, I love you, I love you, but treat you like shit. Okay, how much more with the Lord? Okay. Um Continuing it says, unless a man hold himself diligently in the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, his house shall soon be overthrown. Okay, so if you don't diligently seek the Lord, um, hey, like it says, your house shall be uh, overthrown, man. Okay, you're gonna be um uh, out here looking real stupid when the world's reversed, which I'm gonna get, which is in Zephaniah one, Zephaniah one. Zephaniah 1 and verse 17. Yep, Zephaniah 1 and verse 16. I will continue to sigh and cry unto the Lord to bring an end to the wicked. Yo, Slack it. Zephaniah 1 and verse 17. And I will bring distress unto. Uh, <clears throat> Slack it. We get into the side and calm down. Verse, Zephaniah 1 and verse 17. I will bring distress upon men that they. they that, that. Slack it, man. Slack it. I'm sorry. I'm just excited because this, this is a very beautiful time because. I'm about to get into, I'm about to basically end it with the world's going to reverse. I can't fucking wait till the world's reverse. And I know every single brother feels the same way. And what I mean by that, us brethren, we be going through some shit. But hey, the water y'all about to not shy because we're not partakers, of, we're not partakers of bastards. Because a real man is going to appreciate your ass whooping. Okay, a real man, a child, like the scriptures say, how much more the heavenly father? Like, you know, brothers know what scripture I'm saying. You know, basically, um, you getting, um, you know, getting disciplined by getting, you know, getting whooped, getting spanked. You know, when you grow up, you thank your parents. Okay, so us getting our ass whooped, however, you know, whatever brother's going through, you know, we all got our particular hell or particular ass whooping, if you want to say. You know, a real man's going to thank the Lord, no matter how bad it hurts, no matter how you feel, no matter if you don't even understand for the moment. You know, if you just remain spiritual, like I always love to say, um, you're going to be good. You're going to be all right, man. Okay, because... um. When everybody else, you know, when Jacob's trouble come, when the world's reverse, you're going to be like, the water, the water, Lord, for keeping the spirit within me, keeping the Rakakadash the for me to understand and, and appreciate and love my hell like the apostle, to, like apostle to our says, man. It sounds crazy, but it's not crazy because you loving your hell, that's ultimately, that's ultimately, that's ultimately saying you love the Lord, okay? Because who putting you through the hell? <laughs> the Lord, okay? Um, Zephaniah 1 verse 17, and I will bring distress upon men. That they shall make, it's like it, uh, let me calm down, this is very exciting. Zephaniah 1 and verse 17, I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men. Who? Because they have sinned against the Lord. Yahweh, yeah. If you're not taking heed to Yahweh Shema Shai, you're not repenting for your wicked ways, what are you doing? You're building up, you're building up iniquity. What does iniquity add up to? What does it equal to? Death. Death. Okay, and that does save the Lord, man. And their blood shall be poured out as dust. 
okay? And at, in, in their flesh as the dung, okay? Shit, you know, you're going to be, you're going to leave off a, a, a horrible legacy, okay? Because us sincere brethren, we're going to have a beautiful legacy, man, okay? We want the Lord to be pleased with us, okay? We want to be the first fruits, okay? We want we don't want to die and, and get judged with Esau, Edom, because ultimately you two-thirds, you're going to die as a heathen. You're going to die with Esau, Edom, man, okay? Who the fuck wants that? No, no one in their right mind wants that, you know? That's why this Christian say, you, you, uh, you should call me, but I should not answer. Rough paraphrase it, man. You know, you people is going to call the wrong names, okay? Even the ones that know the names, okay, that wasn't really about this truth, you're going to be calling upon the Lord, and the Lord not going to hear you because you weren't really about this truth. You weren't really, you know, you didn't, you, you weren't really about catching that hell. You weren't really about, you know, growing. You weren't really about, um, shit, the father business, man. Simple as that, man, because you catching your hell and accepting it and accepting whatever comes your way for Yah Bashamash Shai's sake. Um, you're doing the opposite of that, man. Um, the Lord not going to give you that fair trade, which is protection and salvation. Okay. You know, because that's why the straight gate goes into, you know, um, straight is the way straight. I can't think how it goes exactly, but that straight gate, um, it says the path of difficulty. You know, it's going to be hard, but, um, oh yeah, the other scripture I'm thinking of, um, um, Tried in the fire, but acceptable, acceptable man. Rough paraphrase. Tried in that fire, you will be tried in that fire. And us brethren are getting tried every single day, literally every single second. Okay, um, we be in that, we in that fire right now, man. You know, in um, um, in that fire, you know, I'm gonna, for example, gold. Okay, our 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 sword. Okay, it gets beat. Okay, it gets beat. Okay, it gets sharpened. Okay, it gets beat. Okay, for it to have a beautiful re reflection. Okay, it goes through a hard um, uh, process, man. But no one really cares about the process afterwards because how beautiful the gold looks and how beautiful and sharp the sword looks, man. And that's what we're going through. And that's what we're going to go through during Jacob's trouble. We're going to go through some hard shit. Okay, but us coming out of it, the hopefully elect, Lord willing, um, we're going to be beautified. Okay, changing the twinkle of the eye. That's the reward. Okay, getting new bodies and getting saved and protected. Okay. And you people that's not piping onto this song, you guys are in the shit. Um, you guys are, um, <laughs> it, it, uh, it's just, it's, it's bad for y'all, man. It's bad, man. Okay. Cause really the elect us suffering now is a beautiful thing because we the ones that's really winning. Even if people can't see it because people are too fucking carnal. I'm gonna keep it like that. I'm just keep it like that. Verse 18, neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. Yahweh, about Shemiel Shai, okay? Um, that backs up exactly what I'm saying, man. Your silver, your gold, your car, your your your, your woman, you know, your woman, all right? Um, or whatever, because Jake fucking be women worshiping and shit and going crazy over women. Um, none of that shit is going to save you. None of that shit going to deliver you. None of that shit pleases you, okay? The only thing that pleases the Lord, if you fucking... Not fucking slacky. If you put in him first, okay? And everything I said in the beginning, your luck, your actions is you showing the Lord um, you love him, man. That's you showing him you put him first, okay? Even working out. Uh, working out, the, I feel like the Lord pleased with that too. You no, know, That's my opinion. That's why the scriptures say um, um, uh, exercise profit a little, man, okay? Because that's you loving yourself. That's real. It's, you know, people in the, tr in the world says that, but that's honest. That's true. You know, you working out, that's you, you know, you loving yourself, man, okay? Because you taking care of your temple, man, okay? Who doesn't want to take care of the temple? These bodies are, these bodies are through, okay? They're through, you know, and myself, I'm a young brother, you know, I'll say in the truth, of course, too. Of course, I'm young as hell in the truth, but I'm saying in the flesh, too, I'm very, I'm young or whatever you want to say. Anyways, that don't really matter, but the point is, I understand these bodies are through, too, because I feel it, too. You know, my legs be aching, my feet be aching. I'll be extra tired for no reason, and I don't even eat this bullshit that these people be eating. It's through. But you should take care of your body, do push-ups, you know, calisthenics, like brothers, you know, be going into, like, the, you know, the brother the brother know who I'm talking about. Um, you know, they got me on that. You know, that's right there. That's you showing you, you love your body, man. You love yourself, man. And that's you sharpening your brain, too, your mind, man. You know? But anyways, I don't know how I got into the working out, so I'm just going to continue slacking. That's not, <laughs> that's not the lesson. Zephaniah 1 and verse 18, neither... Their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. Fellowship for, for he shall make even a speedy, a speedy uh, rid, uh, rid, riddance of all them that dwell in the land. Yeah, man. Okay. Yeah. 
don't the scriptures say he's a jealous power? You ain't serving the Lord. You ain't trying to serve the Lord. You're not, you're not even putting an effort to please Yahweh Shai. The Lord's like, man, fuck you, man. You disobedient bitch. You know, and I'm only saying it like that because we the Lord's woman, man. Okay? And any real man, I'm a, yeah, damn, man. It makes me mad because men really be taking back women that come in and doze around them. Okay? You know, and I'm saying this for a point. You just not giving a fuck about your husband because we're the Lord's husband. I mean, we're the Lord's woman. And you just treating them like shit. Okay, the point is a real man should never take back a woman that commits adultery on him. Okay, I don't know why I'm speaking about this, but it's a four point. Um, because the bitch is polluted, man. And that's why two thirds gonna die, because you guys are too polluted, man. And the point is the Lord is a jealous power. You put in more energy in something else, you pissing the Lord off, man. Okay, that's very, very angry. That's why the, the rage of a, of a man, jealousy, for paraphrasing, is different. It's, it's, it's nothing that makes a more a man more mad than that jealousy. A woman not fucking serving them right, man. So how much more the Lord, man? The Lord is gonna be like, okay, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, whoo, I'm a, I'm a get your ass, you know, in a very harsh way, man. Okay, for not no understanding and loving your Savior and your Creator, man. Okay, because the Lord does take care of us. Okay. He does get take care of us. He's taking care of us. Right. He's taking care of us right now. He's bro. The Lord Yahweh Shai set us free. The truth to set you free. Let's like say, man. We remember ourselves in captivity. That's why we don't feel bad for you, Jakes, because you guys, your heritage, your, your heritage is right here. But you guys just don't care. You want to worship anything under the sun, but but your heritage. That that shit that shit's fucking. <clears throat> it's vexing. But anyways, though, let me get my uh, my scriptures. No, let me get my. Uh, my, my last two Lord Willis videos edifying Lord Willis Lord Willis 24 24 24 and 8 get to the point get to the point man get to the point Isaiah 24 and verse 8 the mirth of the uh, turbids sees it the noise of them that rejoice it in it the joy of the harp sees it so basically that goes into you no know, when the roles reverse man you know you people are gonna be um when you guys should have been in the house of mourning, when you had a, a time to be in the house of mourning, okay, you guys be you got you guys gonna be in the house of mourning <laughs> in the wrong time, okay. And the reason why I say that, and I just thought about it right now, is because when y'all when the roles reverse, us brethren we're gonna be the house of rejoicing, okay. The house, I'm gonna just say rejoicing. I don't wanna say mirth, okay. I'm not gonna say mirth, but rejoicing because we're gonna be like, oh yeah, let's go. We we the kingdom is here, man. Okay, the kingdom actually is here because the brotherhood. You know, because we're people for a place, but hey, the Lord Yahweh Shah, he's here. What I mean by that is Jacob's trouble, man. Jacob's trouble is going to be like, whoa, let's go. We're going to be, you know, in the latter scriptures, 9 and 10 is going to explain what I mean, but well, verse 9, you know, we're going to be drinking yah yah. The Lord give us some yah yah, some drink, whatever. We're going to be happy and, and drinking it in, rejo in a rejoicing way, man, because the world, the world's reversed. And we're like, let's go. Let's go, man. Our, our kingdom about to be here very soon, man. Okay, the kingdom of heaven, ultimately, man. Okay, but you guys. You guys going to be in the house of mirth. I mean, the house of mourning, man. Okay? When you should have been in the house of mourning right now. Okay? Because you being in the house of mourning, when all shit is hell, all shit is breaking loose. I mean, all hell is breaking loose. It's, it's not sincere, man. It's not sincere. Okay? Because you being in the house of mourning right now, that's you being sincere. You 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 believe in things you, you know. That's why I should say, blessed is he that believe in, uh, believe in me and have not seen, man. We haven't seen the Lord Yahweh Shai physically. Okay, but hey, to be technical, if we part of that number, we have you known our past life. Could we, you know, we made the heavens, you know, with the Lord. But with that being said, man, you know, brothers know what I mean, man. Okay, that's beautiful, man. Okay, it shows you're not sincere. The Lord ain't gonna be caring about you in the morning state in that day if he wasn't trying to get, if he wasn't in the morning state right now. Okay, simple as that, man. You're supposed to show the Lord, you're supposed to be authentic. Okay, you're supposed to be real with the Lord, you know, before all hell breaks loose, man. The fuck is wrong with you, Jake, man? That's why we're not going to care for you, Jake. That's going through hell because you should have been showing your love. You should have been showing that okay, shit is going to go, shit is going to break loose. Oh hell, all hell is going to break loose. You know, let me get serious right now. Fuck all the partying and bullshitting. Okay, fuck all that Murph shit, man. That's just for the birds, man. You know, you, you need to show the Lord right now. You're sorrowful, a broken and contrite spirit, sorrowful for your wicked ways. Don't say I'm sorry, Lord, and call upon the Lord when death is staring in your fucking face, man. Do it now when death ain't staring in your motherfucking face, Jake. Jake is, man. I'm not going to go that far, though. Let's get it. Nine, Verse 9. Isaiah 24 and verse 9. 
they shall not drink wine with a song. <laughs> Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. I already explained that, man. It's gonna bitter. It's gonna be bitter to y'all, and y'all gonna be drinking some cheap ass shit too. You're gonna drink whatever you can find, man. Okay, uh, um, because your stupid ass didn't get right when you had a tent, a chance, man. Okay, you know, you know, and we gotta say it like that, man, because you got your, your two thirds are stupid, man. You know, we giving and we showing you love right now. Okay, if you don't want to accept the love, if you don't want to accept the Lord love right now, okay, then um, <clears throat> you know we ain't gonna be showing you no love in Jacob's trouble, man, because you should have accepted it and took it in when you had a chance, okay, which is right now, because the doors of mercy is still open, okay, until the uh, the Lord takes his prophets out the streets, off the streets. Um, Isaiah twenty four and verse eleven, no ten, the city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. Yeah, man, going back to what I'm saying, man. When Babylon are great, no, because confusion goes into Babylon, okay, which is America, okay, when it's broken down 100%, okay, because it's getting broken down right now, you know, the Lord is, like, breaking this thing down, like, it's, it's, it's going to be a domino effect, but when it's, like, um, when it's evident to everybody, when it's evident to even the believers that this place is through, 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 you know, you can't, it's the, uh, the song places is unsown, you know, you, um, you're not, be, you're not going to be able to, uh, a man should be, uh, wish to, um, Desire to go into another city, paraphrasing, but you can't be able to, okay? Um, going back to what I said, it's going to be like, man, you're sorrowful because ultimately Jacob will be sorrowful because they're not going to be able to do their wickedness no more, okay? The, the Lord ain't stupid, okay? How much more? We know this through the Spirit of God, how much more the Lord, okay? I'm going to leave it like that. Verse 11, there is a crying for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone, and the cry for wine in the streets goes into... um. You know, people want to hear this word, but it's going to be too late, man. It's going to be too late. I always think about the five virgins, wise virgins. When I think about this, I only say that for example, man. You should have had your oil. You should have retained your oil, you know, retain your, you know, I'm going to say like that. You know, uh, 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 um, <clears throat> you should have just, I can't even think of it, how, how to say it. Okay, basically, you should have, um. You should have practiced to learn the names. You how about your mouth shy? You how about your mouth shy? You know, because when we first came in, came to come to the truth, the sincere, we got to repeat certain things. Remember, okay, to re retain the, the name of the Lord. Okay, retain how to salute brothers. Okay, uh, to retain ultimately and, and, and you know, basically um, fighting that old man when he had a chance to fight the old man off. Okay, because ultimately, man, what I'm thinking about right now, you know, through the spirit is, um, we're gonna have that new man. I mean, we 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 that new man now. But the point is, man, what I'm trying to say, we gonna be we that old man gonna be a hundred percent dead. Okay, the old man's dead now, but we are still fighting. But the point is, I'm thinking to I speak as a man, but it's how I feel. The the whole free leg, that shit, all that shit. The Lord put us through whatever we had to go through in our uh, personal lives, and we in Jacob's trouble. We are gonna be so numb to everything. We are gonna be like, cool, we built for this. We ready for this, man. It's not going to be easy, of course, but confidently and humbly saying what I've been thinking lately, man, they hopefully look, man, we're going to be so, we're going to be like, we're going to be like, bring it. You no, know, like, like, uh, what's, what's, um, what, um, DMX say, bring it, bring it in that little interview, bring it. That's how we're going to be in Jacob's trouble. Bring it. I don't care how, how, uh, how I feel, you know, our flesh, bring it. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Bring it. Okay. Talking to Esau. Okay. Talking to whoever's, you know, is, um, chasing us or whatever. Okay. Uh, we're gonna be wise as serpents, harmless as doves, of course. But the point is, man, we're gonna be we 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 can be like, come on, let's go. We built for this, man. And ultimately, the point is what I'm trying to say. We're gonna be confident, man. So you crying for the wine in the street, you looking for the prophets. The prophets ain't gonna have no love for you in that day, man. Can we try to show you love now? It's that simple, okay? <clears throat> Ezekiel 33 and verse 33. I'm gonna just end it with that. I quoted it, but I'm gonna end it with that through the spirit. And Lord willing, this video is indeed um edifying. Lord willing, you know. Uh, what I say, Ezekiel? Yeah, that's like it. Ezekiel 33 and verse 33, and it reads, uh, Ezekiel 33 and verse 33, and it reads, And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. That's a mic dropper. When what come to pass? When all the prophecies is fulfilled, the MOTB is here is being mandated, okay, in World War Three, okay? Once you stupid two-thirds, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans, take that seat hit, okay? Prolong your life just a little longer for the missiles to hit you. <clears throat> hit you when you're in the midst of World War Three, feeling stupid, you know, 
when your your life is flashing before your eyes, you're going to know a prophet had been among you. OK, and it's going to be too late. OK, because when you seen the prophets, OK, when they was among you, when the first time you heard this word through the Internet or in person, something should have clicked. You should have uh, got right then and there. OK, but hey, I'm going to end it with I'm going to end it with that. You know, end it like that. OK, I'm not going to speak too much because at the end of the day, everybody got their point a lot and us prophets. A sincere brother, we understand that we got to keep blowing the alarm, whether you're here or for a bear. OK, you know, um, hey, so Lord, when this video is edifying, you know, I want to give all praises and honor and glory to our beautiful power. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakah, Kadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Gabe Bimstone that time of this beautiful truth and keeping it real with their sincere souls that, you know, wanted to hear this truth. You know, always been seeking for the truth. OK, um. And shalom and honors to you, brothers, after laboring in truth and sincerity. Likewise, the speck of brethren, too. You know, that's um, putting, um, you know, it may look at like the other nations face value, but indeed your spirit goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You know, much love to y'all, too, because this is not a color thing. This is a spiritual thing. You know, and brethren, and this type of mindset and understanding about the uh, speck of brethren, too, the Lord were very well indeed pleased with that, too. Okay, because that's you having 100% understanding. Just want to throw that in. A little side note. But anyways, though, you know, sincere, we know that already. But, you no know, Shalom to the sincere Aqua, the sister, sister, sister that's putting effort to please you. How why y'all shine to the best of your ability and obeying your husband. If you have a husband, okay? You know, y'all stay strong and stay locked in, too. You know, um, and the Lord is very well pleased with y'all trying y'all best, too. Because the majority of these Babylonian women and women, period, is fucking wicked. Okay? And y'all know that, too. So y'all re remain strong. And y'all, indeed, will get y'all reward, too. Okay? With that, I'm going to say Kwam Yasharala. Um, you know, and um, a ball, ball, ball. Shalom.